Hello and welcome to today's Horrorweed video tutorial. So today I'm going to introduce you to a program which I've written whilst I was a bit bored. It's called DOS Packager. Now, if you've ever watched a tutorial on how to have portable DOS games, they generally tell you to get a portable version of DOSBox and then flip some games on a USB drive. However, you'll notice that's quite inconvenient because every time you have to remount your C drive and you have to reset all the game options and whatnot. So today I'm going to show you this program which I made. It's called DOS Packager, which will allow you to make a single EXE file of a DOS game. So this program mainly relies on a Visual Basic 6 code as well as lots of WinRAR modules. So excuse me for this, if you're using a VAST or AVG, it might give you a little bit of problems. So let's just begin and get right into it. So when you open up the program, it will take just a second or so to initialize itself and then you'll be introduced to this little display here. So you'll see DOS Game Packager Horrorweed. So I'll just give you a step-by-step -step guide on what you have to do with this program. So step one says name one word. So I've downloaded Lemmings 2. You can get this off the internet like every other DOS game from Abandonware, Old DOS Games or wherever. So as you can see, here's my Lemmings 2 folder with the Lemmings program in it. If I try to launch this Lemmings program, you'll see that it says this version of the file is not compatible. So basically it's telling you you can't run DOS programs on Windows 7. So to get the program working, we're going to use the DOS packager and run through it. So step one, name. So I've got Lemmings 2. And then step two, it says copy all of the game files into the folder and then rename the main exe to game exe. So just press open folder. This will launch a folder which is located in app data roaming dpkg game. All right. So let's open up our lemmings again. You'll see this is the lemmings. And we're going to have to copy all of the files. So select all of the files, copy them and paste them into this new folder which just opened up. Then it said rename the main exe to game exe. So the main exe here is L2. You'll have to find this out for yourself, but generally it's quite straightforward. So rename it to game. Okay, you can now close out of this folder. You can open it again with a button if need be. Now you'll see that step three is launch console. So this allows you to test whether the sound is working or just to set up the sound. Generally speaking, these DOS games have a setup or an install which allows you to set up the sound or whatnot. So I'm just going to go to dir and I'm going to have a look at where this is. So for Lemmings, it's called install exe. And we'll now be able to set this system up as a sound blaster. Otherwise, if you don't do this step, your game might not have sound if it doesn't auto detect it. So this varies depending on games. You'll pretty much figure it out though. So just set up the sound as default. And then we'll just, for the sake of testing it, we'll just type in game and see if it actually runs with sound and everything. So let's try. All right, I'm gonna call this, um, yeah, all right, I'm gonna call this a working installation. So everything works about the game and we're now ready to fill in the information part of our DOS package. So for this, you're gonna need a few files on hand generally. So in this case, I've got some information. So Lemmings is a puzzle platform video game, blah, blah, blah. I got this information off Wikipedia. So. You can put in whatever information you want. This is what the program will greet you with at the end. So I'll show you what happens at the end with this information. Okay, so I've copied my information and now I need to paste it into this text box here. So paste it in there and hit save text. All right. The next thing is we're gonna need a picture 256 by 256. Now this is just specifically 
once you launch the program, it'll show you a picture and the information. So I've got my picture off Google again. You have to resize it to 256 by 256 though. You can do this in MS Paint, you can do it in Photoshop, you can do it in Paint.net or whatever other program you wish to use. So once you've got a 256 by 256 JPEG, simply select it from your desktop or wherever you've saved it. So here's mine, which I just showed you. And then you're gonna need an icon. Now, if you don't know how to do this, there's lots of tutorials online on how to convert pictures to icons. Generally, I like using a tool called convertiCon.com. That's a website which allows you to convert pictures to icon files. So anyways, once we have our icon, I've got mine sourced up here as well. It's exactly the same as the picture except it's an ICO file. You have to convert it properly, otherwise it won't work. I can select my icon from the desktop. And now this is the final step. You just have to select a save destination. So I'm gonna save my program on my desktop. If you have a look at the prompt, it says save program as name.exe. It's important that you type .exe at the end of your program name. So I'm going to call mine lemmings2.exe, right? I'm going to press the save button and now we're ready to package our DOS game. So to package the game, you're just going to hit this package button over here. You'll see WinRAR and a command prompt window opening up. And once this is closed, you'll get a message which says click OK once the packaging process has completed. So if you've got a large game, wait till the command prompt with WinRAR is completely finished. Don't press this button before it's all gone again. So once you hit OK, it will now save your package to the location you want it in. So hit OK, and we're now going to be able to exit out of this DOS game packager. So this will delete all the temporary files that we've just created once you press the X up here. All right, you'll see now we've got lemmings2.exe, which is right here where we saved it. Let's open it up and just test whether it works. So this is the DOS launcher, which you get. This is where the picture comes into play. That's the uh, picture we put in the DOS packager. And here's the information we put in the DOS packager. So this is fully customizable. You can put in there what you want. Okay, once we've got all of that, we can just simply hit play and this should now launch our DOS game. As you can see, it launches in full screen at native resolution. So that's a nice touch with the DOS box mods that you can set it to do. So now we can play our Lemmings 2 game, at least it looks like we can. All right, I'm gonna now exit out of this game. All right, and that's basically what the DOS packager does. It spews four files into a single EXE file. Now, all of this is based on WinRAR, and I just wanna give a huge shout out to them. I have not created WinRAR, and I do not own any of their components. Neither do I own DOSBox, so it's great to see that you can package these tools in a way that allows you to have a simple exe file all right and now we'll go over to the source code of this project which is in my windows xp virtual machine here i'm going to make this available in the description as well in case you want to modify this program or in case you just want to improve on the general coding or the aesthetics of it it will all be there it's coded and mostly annotated. There is a few dodgy parts in it, which I kind of wish I had done better. And then there is a lot of WinRAR components, which you'll have to figure out yourself. Generally speaking though, we can, I'll just open up the WinRAR archive for you, which it relies on, which is called FCON. This is basically the whole DOS box and the WinRAR packager which allow the program to make a single EXE out of all the DOS files and WinRAR and DOSBox. Um, 
This file I'll also make it available along with the DOS Packager Visual Basics project. And I really hope you enjoy this project and if you like this video give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe as there's going to be lots more content coming soon. Alright, thanks for watching.